welcome back to the channel today i am going to be doing a double movie monday i think the first video you saw was a snake eyes that we're all going to review uh, i hope you enjoyed that that was a bit of a negative video i didn't really like the movie that much and um, this is more of a positive one i'm going to be reviewing a movie that i really enjoyed actually surprisingly didn't think i'd enjoy it but i actually did that movie is the hitman's bodyguards starring ryan reynolds and samuel jackson i really enjoyed this movie now this is my first non-cinema related review uh, on this channel but i thought i'd re review the film because i literally just watched it me and my dad just sat, sat, sat downstairs and watched it and i'm just gonna show up here and i filmed my review i'm gonna tell you what i think of the movie and um, it's been out for about four years now, came out 2017, um, and yeah, a sequel has come out recently called The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, um, that came out this year actually, it came out early this year, and I haven't watched that, but I'm going to watch that, um, now I've watched the first one, I'm going to watch the second one, because I, yeah, this film was really good, and it wasn't it was an action movie it had action in it but it felt more like a comedy movie and i love comedy films and it was so funny ryan reynolds knows how to do comedy he is so funny and samuel jackson as well his role was really funny it was kind of like really mean but really funny obviously ryan reynolds has done like loads of comedy movies um he's obviously done um this film He's done the second film, he's done Deadpool 1 and 2, and he's also done um, Free Guy, which came up recently, and it is a brilliant film. If you haven't seen Free Guy, go and watch it, because it is pure Ryan Reynolds. And then there's also Samuel Jackson, and he is, again, really good actor. He's done Jurassic Park, um, Captain Marvel, Avengers... Um, I think he's also done Kong Skull Island, and he, I think he did Kingsman, The Secret Service as well. A movie that I haven't seen, and it's one I need to watch. Charles and Samuel Jackson had great chemistry. Um, most of their screen time is joint. They're, usually, they're on screen together most of the time. So, obviously, they've got to have good chemistry, and they really did have that good chemistry. And it, it was great. It was really... Fun to watch. The story is essentially Ryan Reynolds' character protecting Samuel Jackson's character. So Samuel Jackson plays this um, really famous assassin. And Ryan Reynolds has to protect him, basically. And yeah, it just goes from there. Um, and it's a really good movie. And yeah, as I said, the chemistry between Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson is really good. Um, they're like... The relationship in the film is quite funny. It's like they hate each other, but they secretly, they can't admit that they're, they're kind of like friends. Um, and you, that kind of, that comes quite clear at the end of the movie. Uh, yeah, it's great. They had great chemistry and it worked really well. The film did also star Richard E. Grant, who everyone loves. He is a great actor. And he's actually in the Everybody Sold Mark Jamie movie coming out in the 17th of September, I think it is. Um, Sam has actually already seen that movie and I'm a bit jealous, but we're not going to talk about that. That's irrelevant. Richard D. Grant, great actor. I think he's best known for Star Wars. Um, he's also done the new Disney Plus series, Marvel series, Loki. And um, I think he's also done Horrid Henry the movie as well. He's a great actor. Everybody loves Richard D. Grant. Yeah, he's really funny. And he was great in the movie. Salma Hayek was also in the movie. Salma Hayek, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I'm not very familiar with her, but she was really good in the movie. She played Samuel Jackson's wife, who is trapped in prison. Um, and yeah, that's the... I'm not going to really go into the plot. I'm just going to talk more about my thoughts now. Because I don't want to spoil too much people that haven't seen the movie. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, go and watch it uh, after this video. Or maybe just watch the film and come back. Um, 
because it's a really good movie and I'll probably enjoy it. I don't like action movies. I'm not an action movie fan. As I said, this isn't really an action movie. It's more of a comedy. And I do need to watch this new one because this new one has had rave reviews. Everybody has said that this, the new one is a great movie. Been out for ages. It's out of all the cinemas now. I didn't get to see it in the cinemas. But I will watch it when it comes out. At the moment, it's only on early access. If you want to watch it, it's, you have to pay, like, rent it for £16. And I wouldn't rent that for £16, I you know, unless I was going to buy it, maybe. But, yeah, we're not going to rent it for £16. But it's fun. It's a fun movie. Um, I, I'm, it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, I think, on the 6th of September. So I think when that happens, when it comes out on Blu-ray, it will be cheaper on Amazon Prime and Apple TV. But you know what, I might actually just buy the, buy the Blu-ray. Um, I might, you know, order it on Amazon or pop down to HMV and pick it up and watch it that way because I think, I think the Blu-ray might actually be cheaper than watching it on um, a streaming platform. Anyway, right, that's not really what I'm meant to be talking about. I'm meant to be talking about the movie. As I keep saying, the movie is still an action movie, but I thought the action worked really well. It wasn't like Snake Eyes where there was just so much uh, that you couldn't keep up with the storyline. It worked really well, and it, 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 yeah, it worked really well with the story, and it was, it was actually fun to watch. Um, yeah, I will say that the special effects in this movie weren't very good. It, Probably this film didn't have as big as a budget. I think it was like 60 million, 68 million. Between 60 and 70 million, I think. Um, so yeah, the budget is not that big compared to Marvel movies or whatever, or the action movies, like um, Paramount movies. I think, I don't know what company this movie is. I can't remember. Usually on the titles it says, and I can't really remember what it said. So yeah, the special effects weren't the best, but that's not really what I was watching the film for. Um, it didn't bother me. It just looked very fake. Um, the blood in the movie was very effective, though. That sounds weird to say. But the gore, it, it was quite gory. The gore in the movie wasn't fake. Though. The gore looked more real than the actual, like, explosions. Um, but, yeah, it still wasn't great. Special effects weren't the best in the movie. It did look quite fake. But, you know, as I said, that I wasn't there for, that's not what I was there for. film was directed by Patrick Hughes. I don't really know any of his work. Um, but he did a good job, not with any of the explosions or anything, but he did do a good job at the actual film itself. He did a really good job um, with, you know, he's got a good directing style. I really hope he does some other movies. Uh, he did do the sequel, so I'm sure the sequel will be good. And I, I wonder if the special effects in the sequel... I know, because this sequel's four years later. Well, not not in the movie, but, like, four years later for us. So I wonder if, like, they've improved and the movie's got a bigger budget. We will see. Um, I am going to watch it. I'm going to watch it as soon as I can. I just don't want to pay loads of money to see it. It's a, it's a good film and I had a good time. It's funny and yeah um and it's very it's it's suicide it's, it's got kind of a similar theme to the Suicide Squad where it's serious dark but also really funny and that's why I like it. I like the mix of serious and funny. I I just I don't know why movies with that mix, I tend to enjoy them. And I found that because these movies I wouldn't usually go for, uh, but since I watched Suicide Squad, I've started trying to get into this genre of movie, and I've started to really enjoy these movies. And so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some more like this. Like Shang Chi is coming out. I don't think I'm going to like that, though. It is Marvel, and as I say, comic book movies, Marvel, not really my thing. But I'm going to give it a watch, because I'm starting to get into this action and adventure genre of movies now, which I, like, early this year, I wouldn't have even clicked play on a movie like that. Um, yeah, so I am 
definitely seeing a lot more movies than I usually would, which is good. So yeah, it's a good film. Definitely watch it because you will have a great time. If you love Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, this is like a pure Ryan Reynolds film. It's one of his famous movies. Obviously, Deadpool is his like most popular, but this is like really good as well. And he, yeah, he, he's great. He's really funny and Samuel Jackson as well. And the rest of the cast, um, the, my only negative for the movie is the special effects. Great movie, great cast, really funny, and it had a good storyline. So yeah, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I think my Snake Eyes vlogging review came before that, before this. So if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. Um, because, yeah, I am, um, it's a very negative video, this is a, a lot more positive, yeah, my next movie Monday will hopefully be Reminiscence, it might, yeah, it'll probably be Reminiscence, so look out for my Reminiscence fucking review, not next week, but the week after, hopefully, yeah, that's, yeah, and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.